Okay. Government shutdown in five days? It's a video by RT America. Now, I'm going to leave you a link to that video as well as a donate link because I want to do more with my channel. Now, that being said, what's this about? Okay, Obamacare is going to pass. Okay. Think about this for a moment. You have everyone wanting to have the government take care of them. How many people do we have on welfare now? Hmm. Think about that for a moment. How many people, these fucking jackasses who don't want to work a bit in their life, they're on fucking welfare? Welfare was originally designed for women, single mothers, to help them get off their ass and do something with their lives. Now look what it's become. I know one person who deserves welfare, who deserves it, and guess what? She's not on it because she has too much pride for that shit because she knows where it's become. And Ashley, you're a great mother. I salute you. That being said, continuing on, some people can't pay for healthcare. Yeah, because of how the system has evolved. Look at this. We got the military industrial complex. We got the medical industrial complex. The medical industrial complex, oh, you feel drowsy during the middle of the day? Well, maybe perhaps you're not being bored. Maybe you got some weird disease that doesn't actually exist. And you need to take a $50 pill for that shit. Think about that. That builds up over time. Of course, we can't fucking pay for it. Oh, you, you need a small surgery to correct something? Uh, yeah, it's just a minor thing, but it's going to cost you $20,000. Hmm... Something that I can probably do with an X-Acto knife and a lot of painkillers? Yeah. <sighs> government shutdown. Also, another thing. The government increased the amount of money that they can borrow. Think about this. Okay. We don't have money for war. Well, the government thinks we do. I mean, we borrow so much money from China. We got money for war. And yet we can't feed the poor. How many more homeless people are we having these days? How many more people are moving in with their parents? I was about to move out of my fucking house and I got fucked over at work. So guess what? I'm still here with my parents. Continuing on with that. How many people are on welfare? Let's go back to the welfare thought. Okay, let me tell you what I see with a lot of the welfare fuckers around here. Okay, they don't want to work. They don't want to live that life. Well, why work when the government can take care of you? <laughs> Have some fucking pride. You're an American. You should know what working is like. Now, continuing. When I graduated, four people from my class decided to go on welfare. Guys. First thing they did, oh, my diploma. Yay. Goes to the welfare office. Next year, another four. Next year, six. It's increasing. My ex-girlfriend, who possibly had my child, possibly, I don't know. Current girlfriend says she looks like me. I'm a bit worried. Only two cigarettes left. Shit. <sighs> Let me think about this for a moment. What does my ex girlfriend do today? She has a lot more kids. She has three fucking little rat children. Three of them. One of them could be mine. What does she do all day? She drinks beer. She has sex to get more welfare money. More your taxpayer's fucking dollar. And she, what does she buy? She buys the bare minimum the kid needs. The kids. She buys beer. And she buys drugs. She's a fucking drug addict. Why the fuck did I even tap that? And that's what a lot of these welfare fuckers are. Maybe if we instituted some, you know, oh, oh you want government help? How's about this? Take a goddamn drug test. If you pass, maybe. And going back to the single mother thing. Nobody deserves to have the government fucking coddle them. That's not how the country was founded. The country was founded with the idea that if through your own hard work and grit that you can get somewhere in life. We used to have these things called mom pa stores. Guess what? Not anymore. Why? Big corporations took over them. And when those big corporations fall, guess what? They get their own form of welfare called bailouts. In capitalism, there's not supposed to be a too big to fail. It's you fall and you rise by your own merits, and if you fuck up, guess what? You're a fuck up and you deserve to fall. 
You deserve to be in the goddamn street. But no, too big to fail. Your taxpayer's dollars at work again. Think about that for a moment. We're spending all this money on shit we don't need. How much does the average Humvee cost? About $100,000. We don't use those things anymore. Instead, we use MRAPs. Well, actually, we do still use the Humvees, but we're moving towards the MRAPs. How much does that cost? Like $170,000 a year. Well, I mean per unit. Something along those lines. Is that money you really want to spend? How much does a tank cost? I think it was like somewhere along the lines of like $5 million each. I'm not sure what the price is, but you do the math. How many tanks do we got in the field? How many MRAPs? The Department of Homeland Security just recently placed an order for 2,700, 2,700 MRAPs. Think of the dent that left in my taxpayer's dollar. And because of the economy, because Obama's jobs, oh yeah, most we created jobs, most of which are part-time that only pay minimum wage when the living cost has to be at least $15 or you can't survive. Fifteen fucking dollars or you can't survive. And yet most of the jobs created are minimum wage, low-paying jobs. 75% of that shit. Think about it. Government shut down. Yeah, whose fault is it? It's our fault for voting in the fuckers who want to do this shit. It's our fault for not taking maybe a thought as to the quality of the products we buy instead of buying cheap shit that we're only going to use once or twice from fucking China. Because, well, it's like a good quality product that's going to last you the rest of your life that costs $100 versus a shit product that's going to last you a week made in China. We exported all our fucking jobs across seas because we wanted to spend less. Selfish fucking bastards. The system's breaking down, and whose fault is it? Look in the goddamn mirror. You didn't stand up for it. And if you did stand up for it and nothing happened, guess what? You did your job as an American. But you didn't get out to many people, to the right people, and you didn't voice your opinions and concerns enough as you should have uh, it's fucked up and we only have ourselves to blame that being said I'm done with this rant uh, I want to do more with my channel and there's a donation button below hopefully we can do something with that have a nice day guys